Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. Welcome to What's It Worth, and welcome, Teresa. Hi, Teresa. Welcome. Thank you. Nice to see you. You too. Where are you from? Lancaster. So you brought this all the way from Lancaster. Yes. Okay. Well, I live in Denver, PA now, but okay. I'm originally from Lancaster. Okay. So these pieces came originally from the Lancaster area, and Denver is not too too far from, of course, a little town called Lidditz. Right. Right? Yes. So Lidditz is a place where many of these particular pieces, egg cups, saffron cups, and such were actually produced. Um, turned on a lathe, wooden saffron cups just like this one, and egg cups, and this particular one turned on a lathe and then decorated by a gentleman whose name is Len Ware, if you will, and that was of course Joseph Len. Tell me a little bit about your piece. Um, my grandmother, when each one of us was born, I have a brother and a sister, she bought us an item. My brother actually got a saffron um, <clears throat> cup and then my sister and I got one of these. Okay, so basically what you have here are some newspaper and I wanted the newspaper <laughs> because she came in and she showed it to me and all of these little newspaper articles were shoved into the cup. And um, this is what a lot of people do. A lot of people will, over the years, they'll see something, they'll rip it out of the news. You know, even with my column, they'll rip it out and go, oh, you know, Dr. Lori said this, that kind of thing. And they'll keep it with the object. It's a good way to sort of document what's happened to an object like yours. Mm -hmm. So a couple of things you want to remember um, with that is these pieces of information may give you some good background information and may actually just be interesting mm -hmm. for a related object, but not your object specifically. So hold on to these pieces, but try to keep that documentation in relatively good shape. Okay. Right now, we had a hard time even opening these pieces of newspaper up. I would say put them into a plastic Ziploc bag. You can laminate them if you like, if you want to invest in lamination. But basically, as time goes on, you're not going to be able to read them if we don't do something to preserve them okay. soon, okay? Mm -hmm. And maybe it's just making sure that they're lying flat, maybe in a solander box or an acid-free box kind of thing. Okay. They yellow because the newspaper has, uh, the old newspaper has an acidic content. Mm -hmm. so, so you want to keep this information that maybe mom or grandma actually cut out of the newspaper right. going over mm -hmm. years and years. Lots of people do that, antique collectors particularly. This particular piece is very well known and looks to be of the style attributing it to Len. And that's relatively important because when you look at these particular flower forms, the leaf forms, the coloration, and the way in which this piece is put together, you're basically looking at a relatively quickly identifiable piece that relates to that Lidditz designer mm -hmm. and maker. Okay. That's important because there are knockoffs. There are people who in the 1970s are looking at these pieces and trying in fact to have these pieces look like the older pieces. You have mm -hmm. an authentic older piece. So what else can you tell me about it in your family? Did you always hold them dear, near and dear to your heart? My, my grandmother kept them and then passed them on to my mother. Okay. And then when, prior to her passing, she gave them to each one of us. Okay, so everybody so, got some. Yes. Was it even? Did you think it was fair? Yes. Okay, yes. great. Yeah, Most families fine. are like that. Yeah. Is it something that you keep in your house and display or is it yes. tucked away? No, I display it. You display it. How do you display it? China cabinet? No, up on just a shelf in my living room. Is it open, the open yes. shelf? Okay, yes. and here's the difference. The reason why the china cabinets can retain heat Everyone's worried about dirt, but heat is really where the, where the damage can oh, okay. come from China cabinets. Having an open display where the air can move around objects, particularly old objects, is important. So this is what you have. It's made right in this neck of the wood. Yeah. So this particular piece is an authentic, nice piece. Now, this one is a good egg cup, style cup, and this particular piece is not like the saffron piece. So your brother might have gotten a saffron cup, which, and that's the reason for, of course, the saffron color interior, oftentimes. Mm -hmm. right. But that cup might have been worth as much as $2,000, maybe even as much as $2,200. Your piece is worth just about, what do you think it's worth? I have no idea. More or less than your, than your <laughs> oh, brother's less. piece. Yeah, I know it would yeah. be less. Probably worth somewhere around $1,200. Okay this particular condition. It's in very good condition. It does have, of course, over time, some, um, a, a little bit of dirt and a little bit of inclusions, which are areas of damage, which are typical, but these pieces were utilized. Mm -hmm. Now notice, of course, the flowers, right? Mm -hmm. And notice the way in which you have the red against the green flowers too, and the pink background relating, of course, to the Christian idea, of course, of the evergreen, life everlasting, of course, in the Christian um, faith, as well as red or the blood of Christ. 
So you tend to see a lot of that symbolism in floral pieces, particularly on these particular cups. Egg cups are oftentimes related to the idea of renewal, rebirth, right? Sort of like uh, the resurrection at Easter time kind of thing. We, we equate that idea of renewal uh, with eggs and coming again. That's what you typically have in this piece. That's how it's decorated. That was relatively well known. So you notice the red, green, and the black is always a color scheme we're going to see in historic Lenware mm -hmm. pieces like this. Um, turned on a lathe, wooden piece, all carved out, hand painted. As I said, value on that is going to be just around 1000 to about $1,200. Thank you for all bringing right. it in. Thank you.